Number 1. Tarragona Amphitheatre. Tarraco's amphitheatre had an exquisite setting, carved into a steep slope between the Roman walls and the Mediterranean. As you leave the part Alta this elliptical arena is laid out in front of you and framed by the Azure Sea. Number 2. Tarragona Cathedral. One of the great things about Tarragona's Romanesque and Gothic cathedral is the way it sneaks up on you. The streets around, like Cara de la Merceria and Cara Major, are compact alleys with traditional local amenities, antiques shops, and restaurants. Number 3. Les Ferrer's Aqueduct, Pont del Diable. Five minutes north of Tarragona, bridging a pine-wooded valley, is a 250-meter section of an aqueduct that channeled water from the Frankly River to ancient Taraco. The monument has 36 arches and rises to 27 meters from the valley floor. Number 4. Roman Walls. On the west side of the Part Alta you can get up onto the original Roman walls and take a tour of the ramparts where there's a captivating melange of history. Medieval coats of arms and 18th century gun positions appear next to original Roman towers and stones with 2,000-year-old inscriptions. Number 5. National Archaeological Museum. It wasn't until the mid-19th century that the city realized what it had, and excavations commenced at all the various sites around the Part Alta. Nearly all the items uncovered at these digs are displayed here, and there's a rich assortment of Roman sculpture, ceramics, clothing, coins and everyday household items. Number 6. Part Alta. The highest part of Tarragona is also the oldest, and is the site of Taraco's ancient provincial forum. For hundreds of years, right up to the late Middle Ages, this is where the city's entire population lived, separated from El Serralo, which was Tarragona's seafront community. Number 7. Mediterranean Balcony. Couples and families stroll on the Rambla Nova up to this lookout with unbroken panoramas of the sea. The iron railings are part of the ritual as you're supposed to tokar pharaoh, touch the iron for good luck. There are bars, restaurants, and cafes along the Rambla behind this spot. Number 8. Outside the Walls. We've mentioned the Rambla Nova, a sophisticated pedestrian boulevard laid out in the 19th century. On either side are restaurants and many of Tarragona's high street brands. From there you could go down or up the hill to see more of the city. Number 9. Platja del Miracle. At the foot of the cliffs, on the other side of the train tracks is the main beach on Tarragona's waterfront. You can cross the tracks via the tunnel near the amphitheater, or on the level crossing just past the station. Number 10. Tamarit Punta de la Mora. Minutes up from Tarragona is a gorgeous sweep of coast, starting at Platja Larga. This golden beach seems to go on forever and behind it are low-impact holiday communities and campgrounds with chalets. Eventually, the beach gives way to Tamarit Punta de la Mora, a natural park on a headland covered in pine forest. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.